Hi, and welcome to Cooperative Extension of Tompkins County. I'm Ken Schlotter, I'm the Executive Director here, and we're really happy to have you on board. I don't know about you, but every time a staff person comes on board here at Cooperative Extension, we get really excited. The staff is already pretty rich in experience and in knowledge, but every person who comes on brings something additional to this place that we're really happy to learn about and to work with. So we're really happy you're here. This organization has the power to change the world. I know that sounds corny, but in fact, it really is true. This organization is one of 56 or 57 different organizations around the state that are very similar, one in each county in the, in the, in the state. And we really, the, the power and the potential of that, uh, of this system to change the world, to, or at least to change New York State, is pretty remarkable. We here in Tompkins County can change Tompkins County, so we really hope that when you come here and start working with us, you bring that as well. You, along with the rest of us, can really change this county, and we're really happy to have you on board. Welcome to Cooperative Extension. My name is Sharon Brown, and I work with the 4-H Youth Development Program. I'll be your tour guide for this orientation video. Welcome to the Cornell Cooperative Extension team. What we're trying to do here is provide a broad overview of Cornell Cooperative Extension of Tompkins County. But even more importantly, we want to give you a taste of what life is like here at Extension. So we'll introduce you to a few of your colleagues and give you some glimpses of how we work. A good place to start getting a perspective on CCETC is our mission statement. Strengthening youth, adults, families, and communities through learning partnerships that put knowledge to work. The mission of CCETC comes to life in many ways. We do everything from working with kids on wilderness survival skills to parenting workshops, marketing videos for local farmers, backyard and festival composting, and even facilitating community meetings. The list goes on and on. In fact, depending on how you count them, there are anywhere from 60 to 150 different programs at Cooperative Extension. All of them contribute in unique ways to the broad goals that we work toward in the community. So although you may have been hired to work in a specific area, like environment or youth development, you'll find lots of overlaps with other programs and great ideas and expertise to tap into among all your new colleagues. In organizational terms, Extension in Tompkins County is organized into six program areas plus the administration team which supports everyone. The six program areas are Agriculture, Environment and Sustainability, 4-H Youth Development, Family and Community Development, Consumer and Financial Education, and Nutrition Education. Each of the program areas has a rich array of individual programs and projects, and we'll talk a little about them here. There's a lot more to know about all these areas, but we'll hold those details for another video. For now, we'd like to give you a taste of some of the kinds of works we do and the ways we go about doing it.
First of all, an important thing to know about Extension is that programming is so much more than just running workshops. At CCETC, programming also means things like training volunteers, hosting community meetings, creating fact sheets and web pages, maintaining demonstration gardens, writing for the newspaper, or even answering hotlines. You name something that engages people and builds knowledge, and we're probably doing it, or maybe we'd like to try it. So you may ask, how do we do all this? Well, we have a staff of about 50 people who mostly work in the building, and another 25 or so who work out in the community and in schools and so on. Then, there's about 75 who are classified as casual employees, although there is nothing casual about their dedication. Plus, there are roughly 100 people who work for us on a contract basis. So far, that comes out to 250 people working with us. And then, in addition to all that talent, we have an incredible volunteer pool of over 1,600 community members. Together, we reach tens of thousands of people every year. Um, you know, when you are a doctor, you have X amount of clients. When you're a lawyer, you have X amount of clients. But when you are a, com a community organizer, when you're involved in the community, there are an enormous amount of people, and an infinite amount of people that you can really be involved with. And, and I feel that the Cooperative Extension and what it does in general has an infinite amount of lives that it touches and um, is, is, um, uh, makes a difference in. Part of what allows us to extend as far as we do in the community is that we collaborate a lot with other organizations. Well, certainly through my work, I do a lot of networking with various um, different agencies, and that's one of the most effective ways for us to do our work is collaborating with the Three Pillar Foundation and Tompkins Community Action and um, various other programs um, because it's more effective in a small community like this for us to not all try to do everything. We sort of have our niches, so. We work with folks at the Friendship Center. We work with people who are dealing with addiction and recovery issues at CARS. Um, we also are involved with uh, Community Justice Center, the Alternatives to Incarceration. We're part of their life skills programming. Um, we've done programs with graduate student families. Um, people from other countries that maybe are challenged with not knowing what to what is that stuff in Wegmans and trying to make good meals for their families those families are challenged because they have often have very little income when they're here um, and don't even know where to start that's always a fun group um, that we've done at Hasbrook um, so if you can think of a group that works with people we we work with them pretty much between us all, we have lots of relationships with other community groups and organizations. So if you want to make a connection, ask around. Someone here probably knows someone there. Another part of our strength as an organization comes from internal collaborations, links between people and programs inside Cooperative Extension. Well, I feel very fortunate because I think 4-H, we, we all collaborate as much as possible. We really believe in, in the power of collaborating across program areas. Our farmer's market program, the satellite farmer's market program, where we organize the markets, nutrition brings the nutrition education to the program, and then actually our youth program, the rural youth services, brings the kids who staff the market. We've collaborated with the consumer and family programs too in a number of ways. One um, specific would be uh, to help farm families through times of crisis and also some, some activities that we've been involved in together as sort of strategic planning for organizations, helping leadership development in organizations like the farmer's market that I work with, but bringing the talent of the, uh, the family and community folks to that particular organization. I collaborate with the nutrition department, um, the educators. I work with the uh, parenting groups. We also have uh, family, community, and nutrition participation in the newsletter. I have collaborated with agriculture and environment in both energy and um, food safety. We've worked with uh, parenting with Anna Steincross on the CHANCE program. 
We do a lot of work with Urban 4-H and also with Rural Youth Services with after-school programming for at-risk kids. I have a food program quite a little bit. Like Heather comes out and uh, obliges me and says, yeah, I'll cook a chicken in a, in a pit, sure. Stuff like that, yeah. That's <laughs> so the more you know about what other people do here, the more you get to tap into. In order to accomplish our goals of improving lives and communities, we draw on the talents and passions of a really creative, dedicated, and diverse staff. Welcome to the Cooperative Extension team. You may be the newest person on staff right at the moment, but it probably won't be that way for long. I've been here for about five years, and as you can see from the following sampling of colleagues, that puts me somewhere in the middle. Um, I've been here 28 years. I've been in Extension since 1980. October of 1980. I'm just starting uh, my 22nd year. 19 years. 14 years. It'll be 12 years in January. 11 years. Almost nine and a half. Nine years. Nine years. I've been here for seven years. Six plus years. About five and a half years. Almost five years. I'm coming up on five years. Four years. Almost four years. It'll be four years. Two and a half years. I'm beginning my second year as full-time staff. Not quite two years. About a year and a half. About a year and a half. About a year and a half. A little bit more a year. A little bit more than a year now. Since the 16th of July. August 2007. Since September 1st. Since September 2007. All of us can help you out. We can teach you things and make you feel welcome. Although work itself tends to engage people very fully, somehow people find time to volunteer for other organizations. Your new colleagues can give you a glimpse into the community around us. My husband and I are both very involved in the Lansing Boy Scout troop. Um, right now I'm involved with Loaves and Fishes, actually, which is um, the local soup kitchen. I do a lot of work with my church as well, which is the Vineyard of Ithaca. And to a lesser extent with lots of other organizations, um, the Race Liberation Alliance, People's Garden Project, um, things like that. But that's more. Go to the benefit concerts and support them financially when I can. Well, I chair the Town of Ithaca Agriculture Committee and I serve on the Town of Enfield Planning Board. I've been on the community school, my, my school, Enfield, Enfield Elementary School, PTA. I'm still a big GACker, um, the Great Earth Connectivity Center. Um, I worked there for eight years in their after school program um, doing youth development and um, I still hop in. There's also an amazing variety of hobbies and personal interests among our staff. It's probably not surprising, given the kinds of programs we do, that lots of us have outdoor passions. Sustainability, farming and animal husbandry, those kind of things. Really into friction fires and wild edibles and building shelters in winter and sleeping out without uh, blankets and tents and just sort of pushing my personal edge and uh, both inner and outer. So I do like the outdoor, pretty much anything outdoors, tracking, wilderness survival skills, hiking, looking at plants and trees, um, hanging out with my dog in the woods, and photography. There are also lots of other interests you might not guess about. Um, I had a previous incarnation as a pastry cook in New York City, so I, I bake well. Um, well, I, I have a DJ business, so I do some DJing and karaoke on the weekends. Um, currently, I'm renovating an old house. And my lifelong hobby has been bird watching. I learned it at my grandmother's knee and uh, continued to do so. We made sure when we moved here we bought land that I could walk on and I'm very pleased with the number of birds that I have. I like to fish. I like to read, um, mostly um, murder mystery kind of novels. Um, my favorite author is uh, James Patterson. Um, I like to cross stitch, work with mixed media, um, anything that involves crafting of some sort. 
Um, I love to write. I'm working on some children's books and have turned in some manuscripts, hopefully to get published someday. Um, I also dance a lot. I dance tango. I'm a big dancer. I tango dance and salsa dance. I do yoga at the Sunrise Yoga Studio downtown. I knit, um, I read a lot, I cook, bake. I love going on long bike rides and walks and stuff. I'm a nerd. I'm an out of the closet nerd <laughs> and I love it. Um, I love reading. I love studying. I love doing research. <laughs> uh, I'm a writer and a poet. Um, I love to quilt. I have a martial arts background. I am a black belt. In doing the interviews for this video, we asked what was the best part about working here at Extension. Here are a few of the answers. The diversity in um, programs and things. Like there are a lot of people we can collaborate with, a lot of people who can, um, we can bring things to. The opportunity to connect with people and work on common goals, um, to create a vision and to organize action and make it happen. It's always different. Every day is something different. You're always working with either youth or seniors, adults, the, you know, it's always something different. I like that. Oh, I, I love the people. I truly love the people. Um, everyone that I've worked with here, people that I interact with daily are energizing and exciting. I'm learning so much. There's also a great deal of respect here. Um, so I feel respected. I feel appreciated. And uh, I'm just grateful to have the chance to interact daily with some incredible minds here and uh, with the people that I'm programming for and with, too. Uh, it's just about the people, and it's all good. <laughs> the best part is the people. Uh, I like the work. The work that people do is really exciting and really makes a difference in the community, and that's great. But the people are really what make this such an incredible place to work. My very favorite part is the program managers that I work with who are young, dynamic, well-meaning, hard-working people who really are doing amazing things for kids and it's just real fun to work with them. The best part about working here is working with a wonderful, committed and excited staff who love what they're doing. Everyone here has the same absolute and unswerving passion and devotion. The passion of the people that are here. Um, being able to surround myself each day with passionate people and people who care just as deeply about their work as I do mine. I think that creates a very healthy and strong environment to come to work in each day. Um, and not that their passion is the same as mine. And that's what makes it neat, is that their passion may be very, very different from mine, but finding the thread that connects us and finding the ways that, that programs can come together and that that passion can be, can be spread and can be shared. There you have it. I couldn't have said it better myself. And as I said earlier, there's a lot more to know, and your supervisor and colleagues are ready to help. In the coming weeks, you'll get all kinds of information about what's what and how things work, from keys and copy machines to strategic initiatives and four-year plans. Some of it you'll need to know right away. Some of it you can absorb more slowly. We know that settling in takes time. This video is part of an overall orientation process, and we hope it'll be helpful. And of course, we may have missed something, so if you have any questions, please ask. Let me close by saying again, welcome to Cornell Cooperative Extension of Tompkins County. We're looking forward to working with you.